Hi, today we will be discussing a second gen antihistamine, namely Abastin. We will discuss its pharmacokinetics, dynamics, as well as dose along with its side effects. Introduction Abastin, developed by Almeral SA, is an antihistamine that effectively relieves allergies without causing drowsiness. It's particularly beneficial for allergic rhinitis and chronic idiopathic urticaria. In 1990, after extensive trials and enhancements, Ibastin emerged as a beacon of hope for allergy sufferers. Pharmacokinetics Administration Taken orally It is absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. Half-life 1.5 to 4 hours Protein binding equals greater than 95% Distribution Distributed throughout the body 90 to 143L Elimination Rectal and fecal elimination E-half-life Single dose 10 mg equals 10.3 to 19 hours. Multiple dose, 10 milligrams, equals 19 hours. Carabastine. Carabastine, an active metabolite of abastin, acts as a histamine H1 receptor antagonist. It is formed through the action of the cytochrome P450, CYP, isoform CYP3A4.2. Carabastine effectively inhibits histamine-induced contraction in isolated guinea pig trachea, with concentrations typically ranging from 30 to 100 micrometers. Pharmacodynamics H1 receptor antagonists bind to H1 receptors on cells, preventing histamine from attaching. This blocks the allergic response and alleviates symptoms related to allergies, including hay fever, allergic rhinitis, hives, and allergic conjunctivitis. Additionally, they can manage non-allergic conditions like motion sickness and insomnia. Mode of action we can see that the antihistamine gets attached with H1 receptor blocking, binding of histamine with the receptor which is further explained in the next video. The first type, H1 receptors, are expressed primarily on vascular endothelial cells, smooth muscle cells, as well as in the brain and on peripheral nerve endings. So when histamine binds to vascular endothelial receptors, it causes blood vessels to dilate, thus making them more permeable, ultimately leading to redness and edema. Now when histamine binds to smooth muscle receptors, particularly the ones located in bronchioles, it causes bronchoconstriction. Histamine also acts as a neurotransmitter within the central nervous system. Histamine binding to the H1 receptors in the brain promotes among other things wakefulness and appetite suppression. Lastly, histamine-mediated stimulation of peripheral nerve endings leads to pain and itching sensations. Let's switch gears and let's talk about drugs that block the action of histamine, starting with H1 receptor blockers, classically referred to as antihistamines. These antihistamines act as inverse agonists that bind with H1 receptors, making it inactive and block attachment of histamine to these receptors. This results in blocking the reactions that occur as a result of histamine binding normalizing elevated body functions due to histamine reactions. Interactions Cytochrome P453A4 inducers, e.g., acetaminophen, betamethasone, corticotropin, tocilizumab, can decrease abastin's plasma levels by increasing its metabolism, potentially reducing efficacy. Cytochrome P453A4 inhibitors, e.g., abimetapir, bromocryptine, patupolone, zafirlucast, zamelidine, increase plasma levels of abastin and its active metabolite, carabastine by reducing their metabolism. This may enhance effects and side effects, potentially leading to increased risk of adverse reactions. Drug condition interactions. Cardiovascular conditions. QT prolongation. Ibastin can prolong the QT interval, so it should be used cautiously in patients with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions or those taking other drugs known to have this effect. Hepatic impairment. Given that abastin is metabolized in the liver, Patients with liver impairment may experience elevated plasma levels of the drug and its metabolite, necessitating dose adjustments. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Known allergy Abastin should not be used in individuals with a known hypersensitivity or allergy to the drug or its excipients. Hypersensitivity reactions may include rash, itching, swelling, or severe allergic reactions. Severe hepatic impairment Patients with severe liver dysfunction should avoid abastin. The drug is extensively metabolized in the liver, 
and impaired liver function can lead to altered drug metabolism and increased risk of adverse effects. QT interval prolongation. Ibastin is contraindicated in patients with a history of QT interval prolongation or conditions predisposing them to this risk, e.g., congenital long QT syndrome. Prolonged QT intervals can lead to potentially fatal arrhythmias like torsades to points. Contraindications. Renal impairment and abastin. In patients with severe renal impairment, use abastin with caution. Dose adjustments may be necessary due to potential drug accumulation. Consult a healthcare provider for guidance. Pregnancy and lactation. While not absolute contraindications, use abastin during pregnancy and lactation only if benefits outweigh risks. Seek medical advice before using abastin in these situations. Adverse effects. Common adverse effects. Headache. Drowsiness. Less common than other antihistamines. Dry mouth. Pharyngitis. Sore throat. Nausea. Less common adverse effects. Dizziness. Abdominal pain. Dyspepsia. Indigestion. Insomnia. Rhinitis. Nasal inflammation. Rare adverse effects. QT interval prolongation. Hypersensitivity reactions. Hepatic dysfunction. Tachycardia. Fast heart rate. Palpitations. Very rare adverse effects. Anaphylaxis. Severe allergic reaction. Severe skin reactions, e.g., Stevens Johnson syndrome. Liver toxicity. Remember to consult a healthcare provider if you experience any adverse effects while taking a Bastin. Children age restrictions. Safety and efficacy in children under 12 years old have not been established. Use with caution or avoid unless specifically indicated and supervised by a healthcare provider. Dosing. Oral. Adults. 10 to 20 mg once daily. Child greater than 6 years. 5 mg once daily. Clinical uses. Cisenel allergic rhinitis, I fever. Perennial allergic rhinitis. Chronic idiopathic urticaria. Allergic conjunctivitis. Dermographism, dermatographic urticaria. Atopic dermatitis, as an adjunct to other treatments. Cold urticaria. Physical urticarias, e.g., cholinergic urticaria. Delayed pressure urticaria. Insect bite allergies. Food allergies, drug allergies, mastocytosis, nasal polyps, group supervisor, Dr. Ghulam Jalani Khan. Thank you for your attention. We hope you get the most benefit out of this video. Meet you in another video. Goodbye.